What's up, what's up, all my LV besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel, and thanks for joining. I am so excited that I have gained so many subscribers over the past few weeks that um, it's blown my mind, as a matter of fact, and you guys are truly the reason why I love to do these videos because each subscriber I gain always seems to want to comment and let me know why and I just love the comments so very much. So thank you for all of my new subscribers. Of course I cannot leave out all of my past subscribers that have been with me from however long. I appreciate you all still just the same. Y'all keep hanging in with me on these some of these crazy videos that I never know what's going to happen because, because um, yeah, I wing them from video to video. So I appreciate each and every one of you and all of your kind words, and I just couldn't thank you guys enough. But anyways, today is going to be a little bit of a lengthier video, so I might want to move on. I'm going to show you guys, first of all, my purse of the day, which is my Speedy 25 in the cognac brown color okay and I just tied this beautiful jungle print band I on it that I bought off a fashion file but it was in brand new condition so I thought it would look really cute on this bag I don't know it might be kind of over like powering for it because it's really big I really prefer the twillies because they're a little bit smaller so I don't know I may end up changing this out I got a few charms coming in that has some brown in it and black so I might change that out because I'm not real sure how I feel about this bando on it it's a very cute bando I think it just might be too big for this bag but anyways this is my bag of the video and the one I am currently carrying right now so yeah we're gonna set her over here to the side another thing I just want you guys to notice my coach jacket first of all we had a football game to go to tonight, and my daughter's boyfriend was playing, and I still have my game shirt on for the school that she goes to, so I thought this would be the per perfect video, considering I'm doing a coach unboxing, to throw on the coach jacket that I bought as well, and thanks to Jonathan Kogsky, and Jonathan, if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong, I apologize so much, but we are... YouTube buddies. I love his videos and he did a community post one day wearing this jacket and I was like dude like where did you get that like I need it. I mean obviously I knew he got it from coach but you know I didn't know if it was a coach website or the outlet or who all the other department stores that carry coach and so he told me he got it from the coach outlet and I immediately got on there and ordered myself one so I thought I would throw this over my school shirt that way my daughter's school is not exposed and then also i mean obviously it's so cute let me show you guys what it looks like standing up it is such a cute jacket like i really really love it and it's got good pockets so yeah so i was so thankful to get this jacket because i'd actually seen one almost exactly like this at the gucci store when i was in mexico but the price was a little out there and then it literally looked exactly like this but with the G's on it and when I seen Jonathan's picture with this jacket on I was like I will get that for sure and I think it was around $200 and that was marked down so um, yes I will always spend $200 on this jacket all day long because for one I am a huge denim jacket lover you guys I probably have 25 30 denim jackets I can't get enough of those things okay I really cannot like I love jackets in general so denim jacket with the coach signature on it yeah hands down love it so if you see me doing this a lot it's because I'm just again trying not to expose her school and I really didn't want to go change clothes because we're so busy right now that I'm just having to do these videos tired and late at night sometimes well most of the time because we have a lot going on during the day and then also my daughter cheers on a lot of Thursday nights and if not if she's not cheering we're watching her boyfriend play and then she cheers every Friday night and now they're starting to cheer on Tuesday nights for volleyball and then she also has her tumbling class on Monday nights after cheer practice and cheer practice on Wednesday and then we also started walking the track at night so yeah so I'm changing clothes it's just if I don't have to 
is best, okay? So like, we're gonna move on from that. All right, so another thing I wanna show you guys. So anyways, if you've seen my video over the East West Pochette Matisse, um, I had so much feedback on that, it was insane. I loved all of the opinions from everyone and I actually, it was about a half and half of people that loved the bag and people that did not love the bag. So anyways, I just want to show this really quick because I've had two people request that I show this bag with the chain from the new Loop GM Hobo bag. So I want to show you guys real quick up close what it looks like. And then I'm going to show you guys also... The, this chain next to it's the chain that comes with this bag okay so this one is the one that belongs to the Loop GM hobo bag and this one is the one that came with the East West Pochette Matisse so this one is shorter not by a whole lot but it is shorter and then one that came with the East West Pochette Matisse is also shinier that's what it looked like on so, so I got to keep these separate or I'll forget which one belongs to which bag so anyways I just wanted to show that real quick only because I don't know if these two people were considering the bag like as in getting it like right away so I thought I would just go ahead and show it okay so this is the original chain that came with the bag and if I said strap earlier I meant chain I, sometimes I say it because I just get to talking and yeah y'all know so anyways this is the original one it is longer than every one that I have showed you guys okay so moving on to today's video so I have a triple coach unboxing yes I have majorly got into coach lately and especially one bag in particular you guys, Coach has really upped their game. The quality of the leather is amazing. You can't beat the price, and, you, and the quality is about the same as every other bag, to be honest, because these bags are made out of Napa leather, which is, I think, pretty much the same thing as lambskin. And as a matter of fact, I, I bought one of these bags from Farfetch, and it does say lambskin, 100% lambskin. Quality of the leather is there, you guys. The bags are beautiful. It's been a long time since I carried Coach, probably years. Like, I think I carried it in my late 20s, maybe, early 30s. I don't know, but it's been a good long time. But whenever I started seeing videos over these bags and hearing my friends talk about them, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try one out. I tried one out. I've been obsessed ever since, okay? So, I do have one already out of the box, and the reason why, I'll go ahead and show this one, this one to you guys, the reason why I have it out of the box was because I've seen so many videos on where this bag comes with the straps creased majorly. So, I wanted to look at this bag and see if mine had any creases in it, because if it did, I wanted to see if I could get them out. Because if I couldn't get them out, then I was going to send this back. Because I did get this off the Coach Outlet, which is the only place that sells this right now. Straps with the bag came very, very badly creased, okay? So, what I did was I folded them a different way against the creases that were already there and put them back in the bag. Some of the creases did come out a little bit. However, the long shoulder strap... The creases really don't show all that much if I wear it crossbody, so that's a good thing. And then the short sh shoulder strap, it went from hanging like over to the left of the bag to actually straightening up. So it's it's helping it. And if you're wondering why I just didn't send this bag back, it's because I've been looking for the perfect red bag, one that I would that I would only carry on occasions because I'm not just going to throw a red bag on with anything and everything that I'm wearing. So this is definitely a outfit bag. So it depends on what outfit I'm wearing. And to be honest with you guys, I literally love this bag. And by the way, this is the Pillow Tabby in the size 26. And yeah, so we'll start with her, but I wanted to give you guys some details of why she's not in the box. And 
go from there. So first, I'm going to show her up close and do a 360. The basketball spin as well to show you guys the full beauty of this baby girl. Check her out. She's ready for Christmas and so am I. Well, not really. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I have not prepared for Christmas at all. Usually I do like all year long. Okay, so I'm going to read you guys some of the details off of the phone because like I've told y'all before, it's just so much easier for me to screenshot it where I used to jot things down. Hey, as long as it gets told, it gets told, right? You just need to know the details, so it doesn't matter how we tell them. Okay, so this bag is made out of Napa leather, which I told you guys that before. Um, it has a snap closure, which that's easy to see. I'll go ahead and give you guys the measurements of it real quick. So it is 10 and a fourth inches long in length six inches in height and three inches in width and as you can see it's got this beautiful coach puffy that's what i call the bag puffy tag hanging off the side of it so i love when bags come with their own bag charms i think it's so great like that so this pillow tabby is in the color red apple with brass colored hardware it's kind of aged looking if you guys can see that up close it's so pretty I love that look uh, against this red. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. And then, so let me show you guys the inside of the bag. So here is the all kind of cray cray messed up strap. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, well, we won't even look at that. And then here is the shoulder strap. Okay, let me show you guys the inside. It says it has a fabric lining, but the fabric feels very much like leather so it's a leather lining for sure it's got a big compartment right here a zipper pocket right there and a big compartment in the front okay so this is the top handle strap right here okay and then let's put on the Crossbody strap because I would wear this bag crossbody. I like it crossbody. I mean, obviously, you can adjust it and wear it as a shoulder bag, but like I said, with the creases in the strap, I would definitely just keep it crossbody so that way these creases kind of are stretched out across my body and so it doesn't show them as much. Okay, so let me show you guys what this look bag looks like on, okay? You could carry it on your elbow like that and you still can I'll put it up there you can carry it like that but this denim jacket just makes it slide right off so yeah see what I'm talking about like the strap is just um, all creased up for sure so here is the bag crossbody and it stretches this out really well so that way you really can't see the indentions in it and honestly I probably would just take this short strap off Considering it is the way it is, it's indented like that, and either wear it crossbody without that. And I'll show you guys what I thought about doing to dress this bag up was adding a go chain to it instead of using the top handle strap. I doubt I would carry it like this, but I thought it looked really pretty against the bag. This is just one that I grabbed for, for now. But the one that I tried on with it came from another bag and the sh strap was just a little bit shorter so it didn't hang down as low. But to me, either one is cute. Like this is not hanging too low off of this bag and it's not in the way when you want to go open up your bag and grab your things out of it. So I thought adding one of the Go Chains made this bag really pop. Like it looks so good like this. And then I wear it crossbody. Bam, I got my perfect red bag that I've been searching for for a good while because you guys I really have been looking for like the perfect red bag. I love the pillow soft cushiony feeling of bags right now so this bag could not be a more perfect one in my opinion okay. okay so I am going to leave that chain on the bag because I like it on there and set this over to the side 
and show you guys the other bags I'm going to unbox and then I'll show you guys what fits in all of them because it's easier just to take the things from my purse and go from one bag to the next okay we're gonna set her in my strap bag you guys look hang on let me show you guys I took one of my organizers <laughs> and put I'm gonna add this one to it I put like all of my extra straps in here <laughs> because I just got tired of them laying around anyways I, I just have it sitting there so that way I can grab any strap to show you guys that I need to or whatever right. so the next bag I cannot wait to show you guys both of these bags because of the colors they are beautiful and no this is not my address paper that I folded up inside is my address so y'all don't come at me with I see your address no 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 this is not my address okay let's open it up oh, gosh and and by the way I have looked at each and every one of these bags I have and the reason why is because sometimes with coach you don't know what you're going to get, okay? So, I wanted to make sure that they were all okay before I showed you guys. And by the way, the reason why I didn't put the bag back in her box was because it was ridiculous how it came. They literally put it in a piece of tissue paper and then stuck the dust bag in there with it. However, the dust bag is too small for the bag, okay? Don't even know why they even put it in there because she doesn't fit in the dust bag. And then it had a little bit of paper around the box. There was no point in putting her back in that. This one is from Farfetched. So, this is one of my faves. I'm gonna go ahead and move this box over. And, and it did come in a coach bag. I wish it would have had a coach box, but that's okay. I say that, but I would, I would like to have one coach box but I have so many boxes just sitting around I don't even know what to do with them. All right, so this one actually fit in her dust bag. But again, this came from Farfetch. It was a brand new bag. So, you guys, I cannot wait to reveal her to you because she is a, going to be a great fall and winter bag and any other time of the year that you would like to wear her because I wear my bags according to what outfit I'm wearing, not really what season we're in, okay? Here she is. So she is in the olive green color, okay? Is she not one of the most beautiful bags ever, you guys, ever? I mean, maybe not ever, <laughs> but she is so beautiful. And I will be back in about 30 minutes. For you guys, it will be like, one second because now I'm going to take all of the wrapping off so I can show you guys the details of this bag. So I'll see you in one minute, but I'll be working on this for an hour. So this is the Pillow Madison Quilted Shoulder Bag in the size 26, which is the larger size, and in the color olive green. I love the details so much. I love that quilted look that it's got going on all on the front of it and then okay well first let's do a 360 okay we all, I always want to leave that out but here she is there's the front side back side back to the front and the bottom okay so this bag is literally you guys like the squishiest softest feeling bag ever ever I mean you just can't beat these pillow Madison bags like I have the black one and I have the chalk one and I cannot stop buying them I literally want every single color they have I've been trying to buy them when they go on sale and the gray one has not been on sale yet so I'm waiting on that but so far all the other ones I have got on sale but anyways I could not resist this color and I thought it was uh, absolutely just beautiful. I don't have any bags in this color and then also I, I mean it's the Madison like it's just one of those bags that you just you don't want to ever take your things out of because they're so amazing. So um, I will give you guys some more details now. <laughs> okay so it has the turn lock closure right in the center of that beautiful C which also stands for my name and you open her up 
And then she has this little flap that has a magnetic closure underneath it where I stick, there's another piece of paper, where I always stick my mini pochette because it gives it its own little pocket and you kind of need something behind it so that it closes a lot easier and you don't have to risk chipping the hardware or, or your fingernails hitting like the leather around the seat. So as long as you got something in this pocket that um, pushes it out, then you're good to go. That's all you need. And I'll show you guys here in just a second. But the hardware is in the gunmetal gray. Some say pewter. I've always just said gunmetal gray. But anyways, um, I love the chain on it. If you guys can see this good or not, probably not because my face is in it. Let me try to let me try to stick this up really close. If you can see, there is leather intertwining with the chain strap. Okay, so I think that really just sets this bag off. And this one, of course, has the green leather that matches the bag, and it's just so beautiful. I just I don't even know like. I think one of the pillow medicines they make are just beautiful. Anyways, the back of the bag has this amazing pocket, which has that suede feeling inside, which is also in the color olive green, if you guys can see that or not. And it has a magnetic closure. And you guys know, I love to be able to put my phone in a back pocket or a front pocket. So it's just so great. It's so great. I, I don't even know. Like I could talk all day long on these bags. My biggest suggestion is if you have not tried them out, get one because yeah, you guys will not be disappointed. I promise you. All right, let me close it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like on. But like I said, when there's not anything in the bag, it is a little bit more difficult to close it. But there's so I have so many bags that are the same way. If you're not using your bags and you stuff them, you have no problem opening or closing this bag at all. All right, so let's try her on. So here she is as a short shoulder bag. Okay, you can also carry her as a long shoulder bag as well. And then this jacket is kind of getting in the way, but you can carry it crossbody. I like carrying it crossbody or as a short shoulder bag. Those are my two favorite ways to carry this bag. So there she is. Is she not just so beautiful? And then she's got that little soft bag tag hanging off the side. Love it. Okay, so let me give you guys the measurements on her and then we will move on to the next and I'll show you guys what fits in them. Okay, so like I said, the other ones say Napa leather. This one just straight up says lambskin, 100%. So, apparently Napa and lambskin are the same things. I don't know, but that's what it says, okay? So, it is in the olive green, like I told you guys. The length of the bag is nine and a half inches long. The height is seven inches, and the width is two and three-fourths inches wide, all right? So, that is the measurements on her. I will tell you guys, a little over two inches does sound small, but mm-mm. No, no worries. She stretches, right? She stretches. So back to the details because I only showed you guys the front pocket. <laughs> is a one good size compartment in there and then a zipper pocket as well, okay? But this compartment is a really good size compartment. The front pocket, good size compartment, back pocket. And this also has the green fabric lining on the inside which feels like sway. Okay, so let's move this girl on over to the side, passing her down the line. At least I got a dust bag that fits her. Not that I use them because I display my bags, but you know. You know, okay. I'd already taken the address off of this box as well. Okay, so here we go. So this came straight from Coach. Huh. They don't like to set up, I'll tell you that. Kinda like me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let me set this over to the side. My receipt's down in there, but do you guys really wanna see it? Okay, who cares about that? 
We care about which color this bag is going to be, don't we now? All right, cannot wait to reveal her to you guys. Y'all just get ready. Do not pass out on me. Don't. Don't pass out when y'all see her. I almost did. <laughs> I almost did. Okay. Check it out. It is in the chambray blue. Is that not, again, one of the most beautiful color bags you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. When I seen her, I almost fell off of my bed. I mean, coaches knows what they're doing. That's for sure. They came out with the most beautiful bags and made them look Chanel-like and went with it. And they are selling through the roof because I have seen many, many, many YouTube videos over these bags, over the pillow tabby as well. But these are just such a big hit right now. So I'm going to go again. So you guys do not have to watch me for an hour. Take off all the wrapping and I'll come back with her all nice and beautiful. And now I cannot knock them for wrapping these bags because you see what happened when they don't. Things come creased and yeah. So I'm thankful for it. It just takes a while. But no sense in you guys having to watch me do that, okay? I'll be back in just a few. Okay, you guys, I'm back. All right, so. Of course, let's do the 360 slash basketball spin with the girl in chambray blue. Okay, front, side, back, side, and the bottom. The details on her are exactly like the olive green one. Okay, nothing is different other than she is in the color chambray blue and she is in the color olive green i wish they would set up <laughs> on their own maybe okay well maybe they will all right she also has the gunmetal gray hardware and the beautiful they don't want to set up they want to lay down they're like me they have they really are it has the beautiful blue same blue leather intertwining in this chain like i said that gives it that beautiful chanel look you guys does it not i mean I, I could talk all day long on these bags but i mean y'all aren't gonna want to listen to it obviously <laughs> well, i want to do <laughs> anyway so that's the same detail so what everything i told you guys about this bag just know it, it's the same for this one but i will open it up real quick and show y'all the flap with the inside pocket in the same suede feeling like blue and it's got a snap closure and then the big compartment with that zipper pocket right there and then it's also got the back pocket with the snap closure so same thing as the green madison but she has her own color okay, everybody has their own thing and these are their colors okay otherwise they're the same bags except for tabby girl she's she's not like them She's different, but she's still in the same family. We're all in the same family. Me and all my bags are in a family, okay? <laughs> okay, so let me show you guys what she looks like on. And I know I just showed you guys what the olive green one looks like on, but she goes with this jacket. So I gotta show y'all, don't we? Don't y'all wanna see? Okay, so here she is as a short shoulder bag looking all pretty i think she goes good with this jacket and i also think my one in the color chalk goes good with this jacket because it's got white in it so the white's going to make it pop you know and the blue kind of makes the denim pop so like i would have a hard decision trying to decide which one to wear with this jacket but anyways there it is as a short shoulder bag and i'm just going to show you guys what it looks like crossbody Because you guys seen what the green one looked like as a long shoulder bag. But I wanted you guys to see this with my jacket. So here she is crossbody with this beautiful blue and white vintage denim jacket. Let me show you guys up front like what it looks like. Hey. <laughs> Alright, can y'all see all those C's on there? Isn't it so cute? Oh my god. Like, isn't it the cutest? So y'all can see what I'm talking about now in the blue. Right? Okay, cool. Alright, so... 
that's her. Beautiful. I know you guys know on my channel I am known for big huge Louis Vuitton lover and I am. I will never not love my Louis Vuitton bags but I will say it has been fun venturing out and trying different brands. Along with Louis Vuitton I was also buying Gucci. I just don't have as many Gucci bags. I've got one, two, three, four Gucci bags at the moment and I do love the Gucci bags as well, but to say they're one of my favorite brands, they're not, I'm not gonna lie. I prefer Coach over Gucci, no lie. And then also I have dipped into YSL, which I have, where's she? Oh, she's up on my top shelf, y'all can't see her. I have one YSL puffer bag in a size small. Had one in the medium, it was too huge, and I sold it back to the lady that I bought it from. And then I have a Fendi bag on the way. Can't wait to show you guys that because now I'm kind of obsessing over Fendi after looking at their website, OMG. Like, they're beautiful bags. And then I have two Chanel bags, okay? So let me tell you guys, out of all of those fashion houses, these coach bags, to me, are just as good as every bag I own. And I'm not kidding you guys. Like, I have carried Louis Vuitton and Gucci both for years. But... I mean, I have tested out so many bags, you guys. I own a ton. Y'all know that. I'm not saying it to brag. I'm just I'm being truthful here. I own a lot of bags, and I carry them all. And these bags definitely, definitely compare to the same quality as every other bag I own. I mean, maybe in a year or so, I might come back and say, these bags are not holding up like I thought they would. I mean, that's definitely something I could come back and say. And, you know, after I've carried them a long time, these to me are luxurious bags, even though they're considered contemporary. They are luxurious to me. They're lambskin bags. They're Napa bags. I mean, you that's luxury. I mean, it really is. They're just a fraction of the price. So, will I continue to buy coach bags as long as they hold up? Absolutely. If any bag didn't hold up, I wouldn't continue to buy their bags. That goes across the board. But anyways, so as long as these coach bags hold up, and I believe that they will, I will continue to buy these, these beautiful leather bags. Okay, so let's go on now to showing you guys what fits inside of them. And I am going to just choose one of these bags because what fits inside of one fits inside the other. They're the same bags. They have the same dimensions. So nothing will be different. So I think I'm going to go with the green one. Uh, we will also see what fits in the tabby bag and I'm going to go ahead and take this strap off because it's getting in the way and it gets on my nerves all right okay girl okay girls let's go let's get started let's bring up my beautiful speedy 25 in cognac brown <laughs> y'all I can't believe I caught it cognac cognac brown it's okay all right. what do y'all think we should start with first tabby bag or look okay well you know what we're just gonna go with this one because they don't like stand up they like to lay down they are sleepy bags <laughs> sleepy bags like me all right so let's pull out my things out of here I already know what's gonna fit because pretty much everything does of course, you can get other things in the front, too. Like, it's not the only thing that will fit in there. I just don't have to because the bag's so big. So, she has her own pocket, compartment, whatever. She's special. She has special because she has some sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, we need that, don't we? All right. I think I have this. I do. This is the back of the bag. You guys, I tied this little bando on the back of the speedy. Whatever. Whatever. I'll change it around. Okay. Let's see, take my sunglasses out. A wallet is pretty important, so we'll go ahead and put her in there. Oh, and it's my Zippy Coin wallet that I've been carrying for the past, like, I don't know, six months. And then my Gucci key clay. It holds my key fobs in my house, in my house key. I'm going to stick her sideways. The only reason I know, like, how to stick these things in there right now is because I carried the back black one for two weeks, so. Okay. And then I have my Chanel lotion. 
stick that right down in there. Normally I like to carry my little manicure set because I chip nails and things a lot and that drives me crazy. And so it has also my tweezers in it that Yoda made fun of. <laughs> She's like, who carries tweezers around? <laughs> Me, girl. I carry tweezers around. Okay, what if I get a splinter? What if I get a splinter? What am I going to do? I'm going to pull out my tweezers. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so normally I carry a manicure set. I just don't have it with me. And then I like to carry my Chanel Mira, which I don't have with me as well. But I need to go grab those. Okay, so we got that in there. And then I can lay my shades on top of it. But I'm going to show you guys how this looks without my shades because my shades kind of cover up things okay <laughs> like my eyes when I wear them in the sun <laughs> okay oh you guys all right you gotta have fun on here right so there you go there is the zippy coin wallet the Chanel egg shaped lotion and the Gucci pouch with my key fobs and in the front pocket is my mini pochette okay what do I and then okay so I'm gonna stick the shades in here to show you guys that it all fits there's still room in the zipper pocket that you could put a card holder or a key clay or cash receipts whatever you want it's there I'm gonna show you guys real quick how easy it is to close and turn that little lock now, now that was easy wasn't it okay so the phone the important thing right in the back it goes oh i guess i'll turn it around and show you guys okay right in the back it goes right down in there that magnetic closure is still working with that phone down inside of it y'all hear that okay cool all right so i'm gonna get it out because i'm gonna be searching and forget that it's in there okay so we are going to transfer girl you're going oh the tylenol still rolling around in there you got the move. Okay. You ain't looking right with that bando on the other side of you anyway. Okay. So I have not tried out the tabby bag yet. So I don't know what will fit in this bag or not. So let's go ahead and start putting things in there and let's see. I wish they would have had a back pocket on it for my phone, but we can't have everything we want now, can we? We can hope, we can wish, we can try, but we can look, we can search. Now I'm just rambling. What else am I going to do while well, I'm taking my things out of the bag? Okay. Let's move this beauty over to the side. Back or Alright, here we go with the red tabby. Mm -hmm. So pretty. I love that it's just a magnetic closure. And once I get this like plastic off, it'll also help too. I don't know how things are going to fit in here, but this is pretty puffy. Alright. Not that I'm complaining. Pachette Matisse, we'll start with you. I always usually do start with the Pachette Matisse for some reason, even though my wallet, my keys are much more important. Pachette Matisse, back there. Zippy Coin Wallet. Not sure about this, but we're going to try it. Ugh. Please fit it. Like, I hate when this pouch doesn't fit in things. Okay, she fit. Ugh, I don't know. I wish this pouch fit in all of my bags. I'm turning her upside down and seeing if she will, because it's more narrow upside down. Let's see if she will fit like that. I really hate taking my key fobs out of this pouch. But I'm thinking it's not going to work. It's gonna, well, we'll try it. We'll see how it works. Okay. So, then I can get my Chanel lotion in there. Uh, maybe I can. No, I cannot. Okay. Let's try her in the back pocket beside, by my mini pochette. Okay, she slides right down in there. Um... But the phone. The phone needs to go somewhere. I'm thinking this is going to have to go. The shades aren't going. The Gucci pouch is not going. However, my car keys have to go. Because I do not ever leave my car keys at home. Even if I'm with my husband, they go. So they're just going to lay in there. And I'm not even sure if the phone's going to fit. I may have to just carry a card holder in this bag. Or let me try the mini pochette in the front. With the... Something's gonna, I'm going to have to give something up. It's probably going to have to be this again. Or you know what? You know what? I'm just going to take the stuff out of the mini pochette. It's not much. It's not. It's just sanitizer. Ch 
chopstick and my tweezers, Yoda. They're pink, like I told you. Okay. Oh, oh, I forgot about the zipper. Let's see about the phone fitting in there. Hang on, hang on. I mean, I don't have to do that. All right, the phone is going to fit in that zipper pocket for sure. So it does, but it's not going to let me zip it. But that's okay. I don't have to have it zipped. We don't have to have that, no. So I'm thinking this stuff is going to go in easier without the mini pochette, but I can try it again. Come back, come back, come back. This purse is definitely um, stuffed. <laughs> okay, now let's see if she'll close. And she did. She closed very easily. Did it make it heavy? Mm-hmm, sure did. As a heavy bag. Okay, but now I'll show you guys what I have in it, which is my Zippy Coin wallet in the front, and my key, two key fobs, my phone, my mini pochette, and my Chanel lotion over here. Okay, so to make this bag lighter, I can always go with a card holder instead of this big wallet, and I can, half the time I don't carry my phone in them anyways because I'm on them or holding them looking at it, whatever, and then I don't also have to carry my things in the mini pochette, but I wanted to see what it would hold at its max, and it held everything I needed at its max, like I said, but except for my sunglasses, but never am I really just concerned if those fit or not. I mean, if they fit, wonderful. If they don't, it's not a deal breaker because it, I can put them on my shirt if I don't want to wear them on my head or face, okay? So, the tabby bag still held everything that I needed it to hold. Like I said, at its max, I probably would change some things around just to make the bag a little bit lighter because she's way too pretty to not use. And like I said, I've wanted the perfect red bag for outfit purposes, and I think she will definitely do the job. So, that is my pillow tabby, my pillow Madison quilted shoulder bag and my olive green pillow medicine shoulder bag as well. All right. Well, I've talked enough. I have. Um, I don't want to listen to my jibber jabber. Just like slide past and watch me and um, show the bags. Okay. And also, if you would not mind, please consider liking, sharing, and most importantly, commenting because I love hearing from you guys. And hit that bell so you will be notified every time my videos upload. So I am going to leave you guys, as I always do, with I hope you have a good morning, day, evening, or night. Whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, again, it is a good night. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.